As you can see right behind us, the Kasich team is getting ready for tonight's 100th annual 100th town hall meeting here in Bedford. Earlier in the day, we caught up with, uh, with him in Hollis, where several dozen people came out to hear what he had to say. The Ohio governor says his experience at the helm in his state has prepared him to be president. It's not like I just did it in Ohio. I did it in Washington. Now, why do I talk about that? Because if I can tell you what I've done and I tell you what I want to do, I think I have more credibility than somebody that's never done squat. He talked about his vision for the economy, how to attack the drug problems the nation faces, as well as stopping ISIS. And he says throughout his campaign, he has kept away from negative campaigning. So the media has been watching this and they're like, can you win when you're being positive? You know, if I don't win being positive, the only people I'm going to blame is you, all of you, okay? Earlier in the day, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie spoke to a crowd in Dover. I have been tried, I have been pushed, I have been shoved, I've been knocked down and gotten back up. And that's what you want, not only in a candidate for president, that's what you want in a president. So you're ready for the tough moments to come. Talking to the crowd about illegal immigration, social security, and the heroin epidemic, he urged voters to take a look at a candidate's experience, not just the polls. The top three people in our polls are two first-term United States senators who never ran a thing in their life and a businessman who sits in a make-believe conference room in New York City and stares into a camera and fires people. Now, Governor Kasich's Milestone 100 Town Hall is set to get underway in just about an hour at 6 o'clock. And word has it, a former New England Patriots player and three-time Super Bowl champ will be making a guest appearance. Live in Bedford, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.